Welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a message from Prophet Mangadiwa and he is talking about negative thinking. How negative thinking have a negative effect on us. Please sit down, relax and enjoy the message. If you have not like, please press the bell. Like, share. Thank you. why most of us we are dying we don't know how to use our brain the gift that God gave to us has caused several diseases now how do you stop the physical response of a thought when you think about it over and over again and it has to be transferred into the physical manifestation how do you stop that from happening Poverty, 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 poverty. You are thinking about it. It has to be translated into a physical manifestation. It cannot remain there as long as you keep on imagining it. As a man thinketh, in his heart so is he. It has to manifest. It has to become you. You have to finally become your thought and your imaginations. Why should you die? Why? Get rid of that, of that idea. Get rid of that thought. Get rid of it. Some of you, have you realized that even when, every time when you are, when you are worried, you, t you can take even th 13 minutes thinking about something and at the end of all that you go like, You are dying. You are dying. I'm telling you, which the reason why you are taking a deep breath at the end of that thought, it means during that time when you were imagining, even your heartbeat was operating at a level which is not which is not supposed to operate it, according to the one who made you. According to the one who made you. I loved when I watched a, a certain program about some of the these sophisticated detectives that are very, 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 very much forensic. And I looked at what they called a light detector. Whether it is a software, whether it works, whatever, but I just like the idea, whether it is true or not. Because I believe only God can know. But they can connect you to a machine and they ask you questions. And when you lie, they can see it on the screen. It is not really accurate, but sometimes. So if you ask them, so why do you do it if it is not accurate? They will tell you, sometimes it is. And how do you see it? Sometimes they can ask the person, give us the number of your children, how many children do you have? And if he mentions the correct number, they can see it on the screen. The heart goes like beep, beep. And then they ask the next question, on this particular day, where were you? If he mentions a different place, the graph goes high. Which means every time he lies, the heartbeat changes. Okay? Okay? So if God says don't lie, he knows what he's talking about. Imagine if you are lying from morning, afternoon you are lying in the evening, before you go to sleep, you are lying. Which means... Your heartbeat, I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't even know. If that is the case, <laughs> if that is true. Okay, tell me about the first illustration that, that I gave you. What is it that causes you to go like, <sighs> what do you think is happening?
it means you are putting your body under pressure. God never created you to operate at that platform. Never. Do you know that sometimes when things really go tough, there are times when you can actually feel pain here. Wafunga chino, unonzo wakuti chika. Waru wansi, wa. Unonzo, unonzo inzo wakani, up, up. Pamoyo, chapu, chapu, up. Kwete home, up. These are strongholds. People have been enslaved by the things that they have been imagining and thinking from the time they were born. Imaginations which are supposed to be cast down tonight. Bringing down every thought to the obedience of God. What is it that is bothering you? And yet with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. I've seen people with no proper backgrounds, with nothing, nothing at all. Kutufunge <laughs> kuti <laughs> Rava ne kupi, rapu kunyoga ne papi papa. If only I can get you to begin to imagine and to decree things and prophesy long life over your life and prophesy health over your life, prophesy sanity over your brain. Prophesy sanity over your family, over your marriage. I'm telling you, this is a, this is the truth. Imaginations are fighting some of you here, and tonight we are going to pray for the next three minutes, and you will find out that the prayer works. After praying, your mind is going to be resetted. Right? We are going to delete some of the rubbish that was already planted within your system by the power of the Holy Spirit. And after this prayer, you shall look at yourself and say, I shall not die. I feel life. I feel life. I'm feeling life here. I'm feeling life here. Oh, I no longer feel a curse. I feel the blessing of God. And you begin to declare it and declare it and declare it. Listen to me. Listen to me. Some of you, if, some of you here, if we tell you, I'm telling you that our parents did everything. But the moment we met, there were fights and situations and mountains of impossibilities that we were supposed to face. Right now, goods are one who is going to be the 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 only thing that we were able to keep, it wasn't money, it was an imagination. We kept on thinking about the blessing of God. I'm telling you, some of you, you have to be ready 
to lose money, lose your time, but never lose your imagination. Never lose your mind. We kept on talking about it and making some declarations. 